local news that matters. This is Eyewitness News, first at 10. Good Sunday evening and welcome to a post Super Bowl special here on Eyewitness News First to 10. I'm Thomas Fleming. You may recall the devastating fire that took place in Oriskany Falls earlier this month. A major concern was that the family in the home did not have service to reach the fire department. I'm joined with Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Allen who has more on this story. Jasmine. Yes, and those issues with broadband are incredibly widespread in our area. I spoke to the father of a family, a fire chief and elected officials about coverage problems, consequences and possible remedies. A few weeks ago, a fire ripped through this home and the family inside couldn't get a signal to call for help. Coverage issues like these are all too common in rural communities. Uh, my wife woke up in the morning. Uh, she went downstairs to make some food and she smelled some smoke, but she went to get something from the garage. She saw smoke and flames in the garage. Igor's wife quickly ran down their driveway and after several minutes, she was able to flag down a delivery driver to call for help. The driver then had to travel nearly a mile down the road to get enough service to make the call. And by the time they got back, I think it was around 24 minutes, the fire was going already. The computer-aided dispatch report showed that the 911 center had trouble receiving the call because of poor cell service. Once the call went through, first responders arrived in four minutes. But a fire doubles in size every minute, so when crews made it to the house, it was fully engulfed in flames. I mean, there was no saving it. Time is critical, and, and especially you know, in, in, in emergency medical calls, you know, you know, heart attacks and the like. And um, we just need to improve the service if you know, people expect it, and we can't deliver it if we don't know it, you know, or can't communicate. Unfortunately, broadband coverage has been an ongoing issue for rural communities. We've been in the area for maybe around 15 years, and uh, there hasn't been, in, the, in that specific you know, part of the valley, there hasn't been really any service for a while. Uh, we have very poor cell service in a lot of our areas in the town of Augusta, especially in the village of Oriskany Falls. We reached out to emergency services in both Herkimer County and Otsego County. Herkimer said they haven't had issues with people calling for help, but Otsego County said they face the same challenges as Oneida County. Congressman Brindisi says having proper coverage is a necessity. Not having access to broadband or high-speed internet is a public safety concern. It hurts small businesses who are trying to compete in a global economy. Uh, it hurts uh, individuals and parents who are trying to help their children with homework. Uh, you got to have access to high-speed internet. If that call went through during the start of the fire, Igor and his family might still have a home. I wanted to take, take the neighbors as well, and the, the you know the fire department, the ambulance, everybody was great. You know, but it was up to the point of getting the call was the hardest part. Local elected officials are pushing for more coverage in rural areas and hoping to prevent this from ever happening again. I have an appropriations amendment that I added which would say no funding is allowed for broadband mapping that is entirely based on census block methodology. Brindisi says there's a broadband survey that will be used to investigate areas of concern. We've started a broadband survey within the district to try and get a better understanding as to where uh, broadband coverage is lacking so we can then provide that information to the FCC so as they uh, develop grants uh, that money can go to the areas that need it the most and a lot of those areas are within the 22nd district here in New York which are struggling with no internet service. Broadband connections are far from being resolved but elected officials are working towards advancing coverage for rural communities throughout New York State. Well, Jasmine, thank you. An important issue, and we'll be sure to stay on top of it here on Eyewitness News First at 10. When we return from the break, we'll have a look at your weather forecast.